So here I am, perched at the beginning of another step in my transition. So I'm having my orchiectomy on Friday. That's the first step I've taken in a long time. First real step, you know, like going full time, coming out to people, getting on hormones. What do you do next, you know? Hope that that I somehow win the lottery and have twenty thousand dollars, well, it's not that easy for all of us. So, I'm scared. I'm terrified, actually. I've never had surgery in my life. And I'm terrified that, like, something's gonna go wrong. Or, like, I'm never going to be able to orgasm again. A lot of the same risks as, uh, SRS. So, I don't know. I have to face those risks either way. And we've been driving for a couple hours. And we're in Pennsylvania. Hooray! Hooray! So we're very close. I can see the city. <laughs> I think that my testicles have shriveled up inside of me in fear. And they're a pen um, approaching doom. So we're looking for 2301. 2301! That? No, it's right there. Look, right there. Okay, so we found it. 2301 Pennsylvania Avenue. 814 a.m. 814 a.m. Okay. So it's all done and I'm back in the car. I didn't record anything because I was all kind of drugged up, uh, but it was great. Like, I didn't feel anything. I don't know, it's a really humbling experience. So, I mean, there was a point where I was, I was laying there, and I look over to my left, and I see the reflection in a, a cabinet with a, a glass pane on it. And I see the reflection of the surgery going on. And it had this moment of realization where no, everything just became really clear. And I, I was really happy about it. It's been a couple hours, so the end is starting to wear off. So it kind of feels like I got kicked in the nuts. Only I don't have any nuts anymore. But it feels like I got kicked in the nuts. And... Wow. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe that that's over, that I did it. And I mean, my life's never going to Okay, so it's the morning after. I made it through the night. I'm alive. It's not a very hard thing to take care of. It, it basically just involves putting on some some dressings and um, something to absorb any blood that would, that might come out, and then putting on kind of this kind of like a jock strap, only without the cup and you're supposed to pull it up like super high. It's not a lot of pain, so it's not too bad. There's definitely some bruising, but I was told that there would be. Day one, so far, doing okay. I can't believe it's been a month. I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on how everything went and where things are and everything. How I feel. They feel great. Normally, if I hadn't had my hormones for a month, 
I'd be going completely nuts. I'd have like testosterone coursing through my body, like making me into this horrible person. And I don't have that. I feel so calm. One of the things I was really worried about beforehand, and I mentioned this, was orgasms. Because I'd read a few reviews online, and people were saying that after the surgery they weren't able to orgasm anymore. And that would suck, but rest assured, um, not only are they still there, they are about ten times better. Which is great. It's very hard to describe without coming off like I'm talking about sex because that's what I'm doing. Um, but it's, instead of, you know, tapering off right away afterwards, it lingers around and, and, uh, stays with me for, what else? What else? I still have a hole in me, so I've been wearing maxi pads every day to, to get all the leakage and stuff like that. It's definitely starting to heal over. Other things, I had my first experience with tucking the other day, post-op. But I tucked everything back just for the night and it was amazing. It was so flat, like you couldn't tell anything was there. And that was such a relief to be able to see that. And finally, after so long, after the surgery and all this pain and recovery and stuff that I had to go through to actually see the results and say, wow, yeah, that's, that's what I was looking for, you know? And that's really awesome. It, I mentioned it before in my videos, I don't have to wear it anymore, thank God, but I think I'm going to give it the proper send-off it deserves, which is why I've been carrying this lighter around. Ew. So this was the first try. This is try number two. Really? No? That smells so nasty. terrible. Oh my god. Okay. Uh oh. I'm stuck. Oh. Mm. Victory is mine. <laughs> 